Hello friends, online teaching has uh, boomed up in the last couple of years. I have been teaching online for almost 6 years now and uh, I have gathered a lot of information about how you can, you can grow as a full time online tutor. So in this video, I am going to talk about 4 things that you must need, must do to get started with your online teaching career. Now I am going to talk about the different equipment that you would need, the different things that you can do to prepare yourself and how you can register on different online tutoring websites like preply.com, italki.com uh, and other, other similar websites. Now if you are someone who is looking to start your career as an online tutor, this video is going to be very very important to you. So watch this video till the end. My name is Tanmoy and you are watching the Indian Freelancer YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching. A lot of people start their online career in a tutoring thinking that you will earn a lot of money sitting at home. That is true but along with that you also need to understand that you need to be an expert of something to teach it online to people who are ready to pay for it. If someone is paying they would actually need you to deliver as well. So choose something that you are an expert of and you really love teaching. Not everybody can teach, teaching is, is not a cup of tea of everyone and uh, if someone is, uh, is good with some subject it does not mean that he is going to teach well as well. right? So determine first, um, position yourself and, and make sure that you know what you are going to teach. That is the first step. The second most important thing is to have your teaching material ready. Now I know that there are a lot of websites where you get free uh, content, free things where which you can share and you can teach your students but then those are something created by someone else. You may not be able to connect to those things very very easily. Now I have used those kind of material initially in my teaching career but then eventually I found out that uh, those are not, I mean I mean, I'm not able to connect to those very easily. Okay, and what happens is when I explain those things to my students, they also feel that there is a disconnect. So I would highly recommend that you create your own content or own teaching material. Okay, you can pick up a book and we can uh, start from there also. But understand that a lot of people do not want to learn from a book. They want to learn from something which is uh, more easy to understand, more practical. And I'm talking about things like uh, like language. When you teach a language, suppose you are teaching English to somebody then it, it, it becomes difficult for an adult to learn from a book. So keep your material ready, invest your time, invest your energy in, in building those material and then when you start teaching you can deliver from those materials. That will be my number one tip, very very useful. Once you have created your material and you are ready to start teaching, you need to think of what are the different ways you are going to deliver your, your uh, classes or your lessons. Now one very popular way of teaching is using a laptop on some, um, some apps like Skype or Zoom or something like that. Now if you have a laptop, you can use your laptop. If you do not have a laptop and you want, want to teach through, through Skype, you need to get a laptop first. Okay? Along with the laptop, you also need a good uh, microphone so that it does not catch a lot of uh, ambient noise and uh, if you have a USB microphone or a cardioid micro microphone that, that I have, uh, you can use those microphones to have a very crystal clear sound during your lessons. It is very important. So I would suggest that you get a headset at least with a mic on your or a mouthpiece uh, which will help you to have a very um, crystal clear sound for your, for your students. Also you will be able to hear them very clearly. So a laptop and a headset is something which I would suggest to get started with. So these two things are very very required for, for even the uh, person who is just starting today. Now once you are ready with your material, you are ready with your equipment, the next thing is to register on these platforms. Now while registering on these platforms, you will come to know that not all the platforms work the same way. Okay? There are different things that you need to do in, in different platforms to get registered with them. So pick one platform, I would probably suggest that you can start with Preply or Preply is the, is the biggest uh, marketplace for, for online tuitions, okay? So you can start with Preply and uh, you can also start with uh, other other platforms like uh, italki, like Verbaling or Amazing Talker. There are different uh, websites like that but Preply is the big, biggest. So you start with Preply, 
find out what are the different things that they need for you to get registered and once you register there then you will have an idea of how uh, probably you should prepare yourself to register with other uh, other websites also because they may ask for the same things or may they may ask for something similar right so start with preply and then you can move to other platforms now as i said that different platforms work differently their uh, their their way of registering or the information that you need to upload for your profile are different on different uh, platforms but there are three things which are mostly common in all these platforms that i have talked about what are those three things let's talk about that first now the first and most important thing is your profile headline what are you going to teach and how you are going to write the headline the headline is the most important thing it, it comes on the top of your profile and that is the first you can say the hook that you use to uh, to attract your students okay so get a headline first the second thing is your description what you write about yourself your teaching style what are the different uh, things that you want to mention or your uh, you want your students to know before they book a trial lesson or book a lesson with you now understand this that not all the platforms will have same kind of format in which you can update your information so go there check each of these uh, platforms and find out what are the different things uh, they are looking for and then you can probably fill up those things one by one with your description once you have your title and your description ready the third thing is your intro video now writing a script for the intro video is very very uh, recommended i would do do that myself i have done it myself okay so i would say that you write down the script and then use the script to create an intro video however while creating the video you can um, also keep in mind that you need to connect to the students as as well it's not only reading the script it should be very free flow kind of a, uh, a video okay I, on this particular uh, topic i have created a video last year um which says about how to write your description in 60 seconds or how to create your your video introduction in 60 seconds please watch that video it has a very good um, system or format in which you can create your uh, description as well as your uh, introductory video once the video is done the last thing that you need is your photograph now the photograph has to be very very happy go kind of thing so that when the student looks at you they feel like okay this guy is going to be uh, good in the in the lessons he's not going to be very arrogant or very uh, rusty like uh, like different teachers they have on, on their profile so make sure that you have a professional photo where your face is visible your smile is there and it looks very good so so, so that the, the the students also feel better the last thing is payment withdrawal system now all of these platforms will have a different way of um, of withdrawing money so ensure that whatever system they have you are able to av avail those systems like uh, i know that uh, there are a lot of uh, platforms which uh, give you an option to withdraw your money using paypal now paypal is not available in all the countries so if you are watching from a country or if you are from a country uh, where paypal is not existent you need to look out for other options so check out with that uh, platform what are the different ways of uh, withdrawing money that is very 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 important okay and ensure that you have registered with that kind of um, payment gateway so that you can get your money back okay so these are the main main points i would say the four major things that i would say uh, that you need to know or need to decide before you start your online career now anything you have uh, any, anything any other questions that you have outside this thing please feel free to ask in the comment section below i have been answering all your questions right i i do not miss any of the questions so i'll be very happy to answer your questions as well i have created a lot of videos on uh, online tutoring if you like you can go to my playlist and you can find out the playlist on online tutoring and there are a lot of information regarding creating your profile creating your uh, video creating your description and in general how you can conduct your online classes so those will be very very helpful thanks a lot for watching again any questions write in the comment section below don't forget to like this video if you think that it has given you some information to help you in your career and obviously if you are new here and not subscribed yet please subscribe to this indian freelancer youtube channel thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye